Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Got another income and freshman scouting report here for you on the channel. That's right, man. Not only do we do 2024 rookies, but we also are taking a look at the early 2027 class, the NFL draft. And I'm going to be joined again by Luigi Tadone, part of my dashboard subscription uh, crowd. And we are going to talk about DJ Lagway, man. Exciting, exciting quarterback headed to college football, going to the Florida Gators. We're going to talk about his uh, his recruitment. We're going to talk about his opportunity this year at Florida. And then we are going to deep dive into his film and take a look at what this kid looks like on the field. He's a big kid at six foot two, 225 pounds. It's going to be an exciting uh, player, man. No doubt about it. He's kind of got those Anthony Richardson vibes early in his career, man. So let's get not waste any more time. Let's get to the show. Hey, Luigi, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about an exciting quarterback headed to the uh, college football scene in Florida, DJ Lagway, kind of like an Anthony Richardson kind of clone, wouldn't you think? I like that comp. Yeah, right off the bat, I like that comp. Very athletic, really good natural runner in space. Cannon for an arm. Cannon for an arm, absolutely. We're going to talk about uh, his little background. We're going to talk about a little recruiting, scouting report, and then head to the film room to see uh, what we see in DJ Lagway, man. But let me tell you something, man. This guy played at Willis High School in Texas. It was not a, a, a highly ranked high school program, but, man, I'll tell you, he took the program to, I think, its first uh, regional semifinal since 1994, and he had a big role of that. When we get to a stat, you're going to see that. But he was the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Um, really exciting, exciting quarterback. I know a lot of people in the C2C and Debbie space are really excited. He was on part of the 2023 freak list of 24 seven sports. And you're going to certainly see that when we get to the film room, man, this guy is built different, um, year over year. Let's get to his stats. Really impressive year over year improvement in his stats. Um, you can see here on the screen this season. I mean, these stats are just eye popping 4,600 yards passing, uh, 58 touchdowns, eight interceptions, uh, just incredible, averaging 350 yards per game through the air, which is just insane. And his rushing ability, I think, is what got is got everybody excited, Luigi. I mean, this guy ran for 99 carries for almost 1,000 yards, averaging 9.7 yards a tote um, with three touchdown or 16 touchdowns, uh, 300 yard uh, games. Um, we're going to see when we get to the film room, man, this guy is the ultimate dual quarterback. And what's really nice too, is he's got the size, right? He comes in at six foot two, 225 pounds, 24, seven sports has him on as their number one Texas prospect, as well as their number one quarterback. He is a five star, uh, on three as well. He is their QB one nationally three and Texas number one. So kind of mirroring 24, seven and on three, uh, you know, we did, uh, uh, Dylan Riola not too long ago go here on this channel and i know we were excited to get to dj lagway um what do you see um do you see him having the ability to start in florida over graham mertz this year at florida uh sorry i'm gonna say no there i i'm a, i like graham mertz i like what they brought him over for a reason he's been playing pretty well in their system i think mm -hmm. he's gonna be the guy this year unless like the rails you know he totally comes off the rails early which i don't see i, I think people are actually sleeping on graham mertz i think he he's probably like a I could see him being like a second round guy, to be honest, like, a, hmm. you know, he's got yeah, that kind I, of potential. He's got a good build car, you know, don't sleep, don't sleep on Graham Mertz. Yeah. Well, I think but, it's a great idea for me personally. I'd love to see Lagway come in and just, uh, he, he, he has been already told by Napier that he is going to have, they're going to have some plays for him throughout the season to give him a little bit of work. But I think it's a great, great way of just letting him come in learn the college game don't throw him to the fire too soon yeah. and you know potentially hurt his confidence and stuff like that. it's a big transition from high school to college i say that all the time so yeah i think graham mertz has got the locked in job which is great but again you play debbie and c2c in our supplemental drafts coming up and he's going to be a high draft pick with Huge. the expectation that you know his sophomore through junior season um, you know, he, he's going to be throwing the rock down there in Florida. So his scouting report before we head to the film room, guys, I mean, he has got the frame that you like. He's got the size. He's got the prototypical build of just a solid running back or quarterback. Um, he's got the big arm. We're going to see he can throw off platform. He can stand in the pocket and rifle the ball down the field. He seems to be able to layer the passes as well and have some touch on the intermediate throws. This is what I've seen on the film that we're going to see here shortly. He's a dual threat, right? His mobility is fantastic. I love the way he navigates to, in the pocket. It. Um, I think he's a little bit of a raw prospect, but he's kind of like Anthony Richardson, mm -hmm. right? When he came in big, strong, um, the intangibles look like they're there. He's just an exciting, mm -hmm. exciting project, you know, and if he continues to develop that we think he is, I mean, 
he could potentially be a uh, obviously a round one qu uh, quarterback taken in the NFL draft in three years. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go see what DJ Lagway looks like on the field. Let's go. All right, Luigi, here we are in the film room for DJ Lagway. We are going to see a an exciting quarterback prospect. Um, one of the best. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this guy is, like we talked about earlier, an Anthony Richardson kind of comp. Mm -hmm. We're going to see just, I mean, this is what everyone's getting excited about, man. This dude's rushing ability, almost 1,000 yards we talked about earlier. Um, little Cam Newton-ish as well. I mean, you could probably play tight end if, in the NFL if you really wanted to. Probably, but he's got the big arm we're going to see here, the ability to just, you know, put it downfield. What a nice throw. Nice he's my wire. He, he's my wire-to-wire -wire QB1, just to put that out there. I liked him more than Raiola. Did you? Yeah, the whole I time. Raiola, I thought Raiola had a little nicer touch on the ball. He just looked like yeah, a little bit more of a true. natural passer. But what Raiola doesn't bring to the table is what you're looking at right here, guys. I mean, this guy is guy. I mean, just look at the vision. Yeah, you know, look at the. I mean, he made a, a, a. He wasn't even looking at this. Watch, watch how he makes the cut, and he's not even looking at the defender coming. He sees him out of the side of his eye. Uh, the know. peripheral vision is so underrated with quarterbacks. Uh, you know, and then, yeah, you know, look at his cutting ability, and he's just having fun out there, man. Just having fun. So, you're gonna see some passes here. Look at throwing on the run. Yeah, I, I really, look at that. Bah, yeah, yeah, it's pretty sweet. What can't he do? Mm -hmm. he, he seems like a, his teammates like him too. He 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 rallies rallies the the guys around him pretty well. Mm -hmm. And this is what I think everyone gets excited about, right? Especially from a C two C and Devi standpoint, fantasy football, college fantasy football for the next three years, or maybe not this year. We talked about maybe him not getting on the field this year, but man, I'll tell you what year two and three, he's going to be, this is a really nice pass on the money dart. Just like a, a laser. Baller. I mean, he, he's, he got 75 touchdowns this senior year. It's absolutely off the charts. So he was, Look at this. That's Look, not this. exactly the mechanics you want to see. Yeah, that, yeah I was going to say, I don't think, but I'll tell you what, man. Look at a little Malik Willish right there. Yeah. Um, not to put that tarnish on him, but no, no. But no. again, just uh, again, the speed at the size at 220 plus and just balance. And I can see why people are excited. I mean, Florida's got to be excited. And again, like I said earlier yeah. in the show, man, it's like I'd let this guy just take his time getting on the field, just take his time. No use rushing him. Let him get acclimated to the college game, but I mean, look at the nice arm yeah, talent in between two so defenders easy. right there. Yeah. This is a real. This is the best pass I thought. That's why I'm playing it for the third time. I thought yeah. in the whole film, just the accuracy Quick, there was nice, accurate, mm -hmm. yeah, under pressure. And he's got this ability too. This fun right. kind of improvisation ability, mm -hmm. which shows really good vision and feel for the pocket. Look at the arm angle on this. Little sidearm action. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what there's not to like. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, sometimes these guys are so easy. Sometimes, I mean, he's big, strong, fast, and he's a great kid. So, you yeah, know, he's he's gonna, gonna, you don't know how they're going to turn out. Sometimes, you know, you, you could be a great kid and it's just too much pressure. You know, it doesn't mm -hmm. mean, mean anything. Oh, but, oh it, I, intangibles. Know. I just yeah, but a, he seems like he's got some toughness to him, and um, I just you know I just think he's going to thrive in the system. Yeah, I mean, effortless throws on the money. That's why I, I have a huge grade on him. It's like you just projected for what's his what's his draft capital going to be? What's his NFL draft capital? Gonna I mean, be? right now you got to assume as a five star, you know, number one prospect that it's going to be a first round. He's going to be a starter in the NFL. I mean, that's the hope and projection. Do we know Absolutely. that for certain? No. But again, look at the arm angle, man. He's, he's just got that natural, you yeah. know, can just sidearm it a little bit. Boom. Yep. When he sees it, he hits it. He, yeah. he, he sees it, he just makes his arm do whatever it needs to do. And, it, and the ball just flies out of there. So he got better every season. So he's still a developmental prospect. Prospect. Um, again, just, yeah, just another nice clean throw. Clean up the mechanics a little bit. Just, just clean up the mechanics a little bit. Yeah, well, he'll learn all that in, in yeah. college, man. They'll work on all that stuff. But he's just a gunslinger out here, man. Having I, fun. I have a huge grade on him. Like I said, I, I, he's, a, I think, in my top 10 player in Devi right now. So I, he's the quarterback I, I would take as a freshman, and mm -hmm. I would take him over tons of other players. Well, I think he's going to be the first one taken off the board because of his rushing upside. I mean, that's what everybody yeah. wants, the rushing touchdowns. I like that receiver, whoever it is. He's tough. 
Now, but, do you worry about like a Dante Moore situation with him where he might transfer or anything like that? I don't think so. I think he's been committed to Florida for a while. And I think uh, he's been. And, you know, I read something where they said at the recruiting the night before that every team was I and mean, he was on the phone all night, people trying to get him to flip. And he's been dedicated to go to Florida. Awesome. So that's good, man. I mean, it's nice when you see like Raul. I think he was hopping all over the place with with recruitment mm -hmm. commitments. And I think. I think Lagway here is has been a, a Florida guy for quite some time, so I can see why he's the number one quarterback. I mean, and why everyone has a high grade on him. I mean, he, he's that big dual threat, and that's what we love for fantasy football, right? Whether it's college or or the NFL or or whatever. So, fun prospect, man. I'm uh, I'm gonna get hopefully get a share or two in my uh, yeah, yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't don't think I have any shares yet, but I will I will soon. All right, man. Well, there you guys got it. There is a good breakdown on DJ Lagway. He's going to be an exciting player this year uh, in college football. Thanks for watching. He's an easy one, Brandon. Let's do a harder one next time. Okay, buddy? You got it. All right. See you next time. Bye.